Hey guys, Paradox Cubing here, and here I have another package from LightTake, so let's go ahead and open it up. So this package was shipped through uh, Express Shipping from DHL, and uh, it took five, only five days to arrive, which is really fast, so if you're considering ordering from LightTake, and uh, you're really worried about the shipping time, then... Uh, or get DHL shipping because it only takes five days to arrive. Okay, so inside that package was another package, and it's very wrapped up, and uh, yeah, lots of uh, packaging, so let's open it up. It's been very well packaged, but anyways, okay, let's go. here we are, and okay, so inside here should be, come on, okay, so inside here should be uh, a YJU long, and a Cyclone Boys 2x2 and 3x3. The Cyclone Boys company is uh, fairly new to the cubing community, it just, uh, it's a new company. And uh, they have very cheap cubes. They're very cheap and uh, still are really high quality cubes. Cyclone Boys 2x2, two two, Cyclone Boys 3x3, three three, and uh, let's open up the YJ Yulong. Alright, so here it is the YJ Yulong. Oh, look, it has a picture of Felix Zemdegs on it, which is pretty cool. So he's holding it, he's, yeah, he's holding the YJ Yulong, I think. I don't know, he's holding, I don't know, he's just holding a cube. Okay, so I switched back to my regular angle, and uh, we can take a quick look at the box. It says uh, Yang Jun Yu Long right there. Just some, a bunch of writing. I feel like some dugs. Now let's open this up. Okay, so here we come, it comes with one of these. Little pamphlet things with a bunch of random stuff on it. And here we have the cube, the YJ Yulong. And it's very dusty, obviously. It looks very rounded and bubbly. And the center caps are like not put in all the way. Just had to pop the center caps in. So let's get on to first turns. Whoa, this is actually a really nice cube. Whoa, this is. This is a really good cube so far. My first impressions are great, so. The turn is very well. It feels very dry and uh, feels not very lubed properly, like all of these cubes are, so we're gonna have to re lube this, clean out the messed up lube in there, but turning is very nice. Feels kind of scratchy ish, like uh, kind of clicky. Yeah, so it turns fairly well. It's not it's not a bad cube. It's has really decent turning. So let's take a quick look at the internals. So this is really similar to the previous YJ cubes. We can see that the it has like these little indents in it so that it creates less friction. It's kind of like a track to follow for the other pieces and then it has like this uh similar anti-popping mechanism that a lot of the new cubes have been having recently has like these wings and then like this torpedo here so yeah you can see that the core is blue and that's how it looks and you can pop these center caps off they're pretty hard to pop off you can see that I had to like snap them on at the beginning I've also seen pictures of this cube coming with the red re replaces pink it looks pretty nice and it's like it has fluorescent colors so like the green is pretty bright bright orange bright yellow it has, has really light blue and it has, uh, the red is pink. It's not fluorescent pink, it's just like a nice color of shade of pink. I've, I've seen pictures of that on the Speed Solving Forum, but it looks, it looks really nice. It feels very great. It has decent turning. Um, it, it kind of locks up at points. The corner cutting is really good. It just, it locks up there. 
Like it, it either corner cuts or it doesn't. It's there's it doesn't have points where it kind of corner cuts. It just either really badly locks up or just cuts. And then it can cut 45. It's a really good cube. I would recommend this. It's so far. But um, I, I have a feeling it can get better after some working it in and stuff. So yeah, there's that. Now moving on to the to the Cyclone Boys 3x3. And uh, there's two versions of this actually. There's a simplified version and a strengthened, a strengthened version I think. And the strengthened one's supposed to be better than the simplified one, obviously, and it's a little bit more expensive too. So it comes with another one of these things. It has some people holding. I think there's like Cyclone Boys. They're holding Cyclone Boys cubes. But there's a. I really hate that packaging. It's so annoying. But anyways, here it is. The logo feels painted on. Um. So. It looks, the colors are bright, like bright yellow, fluorescent green, pretty dark blue actually, it's it's like almost purplish. So anyways, first turns. Um, it's good so far. I think it needs lube. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good cube. It kind of locks up, like the corner cutting isn't great. <clears throat> so if you, uh, if, like, yeah, you can see that the reverse corner cutting isn't that good, but it's it's pretty good. So it tends to lock up, like it can't it can't cut 45, like that's it can't cut 45. So so if you're not a very accurate turner, then the cube will have some problems, like it'll lock up and stuff. So you can see that it locks up quite a bit. It's, uh, it's good cube. It turns well, but it just locks up quite a bit. And we can see it has like a really similar mechanism to to the YJ Yulong. Looks very interesting. It's very interesting looking. So currently, this is only available in stickerless, which makes this not competition legal. But I've heard that they are coming out with competition legal versions of this, so that should be good and. I've heard that they're going to be good cubes. So, so yeah, this is a really good cube. It just tends to lock up because it can't corner cut as much as other cubes. But it's very fast and it has a good feel. So that's the Cyclone Boys 3x3 and the YJ Yulong. Now moving on to the Cyclone Boys 2x2. Oh, this is the most annoying thing ever. Why can't they just make a box? I hate this so much, okay. Okay, wow. Finally got that out. Okay, here it is. Um, it's pretty, it looks kind of scratched up. Yeah, it has a lot of scratches on it. It's pretty dirty, but that doesn't make a difference. It's not bad. So, first turns. Pretty dry. Uh, yeah, it feels pretty slow, too. It's not can't really corner cut 45. I've, it feels like it's not lubed at all. Yeah, I don't think this is lubed at all. You can, you can barely reverse corner cut. It can, uh, 40, it can almost do 45. Not really, actually. Um, yeah, so it's... Locks up. I mean, it's not locking up that much. It's just kind of slow. It's not been lubed, it feels very dry, you can hear that. It's very dry, it's not that, that fast. But, um, yeah, I'm sure after some lube it could be better. It, ha it has a mechanism very similar to the Ling Po, because the Ling Po has this type of thing right there. Rather than like three special edges, which go around one corner, which is the mechanism that the, Ling that the Wit 2 and the Dian 2 Wit 2 use. It's very cheap as well. You, I think this is like five dollars or so, which is significantly cheaper than the other cubes that you can get on the market right now. Um, that's pretty much it for my unboxing for these cubes. 
So let me know if you guys want to see any reviews on these cubes, and that's it for this unboxing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.